you correspond with Ralph on television, video, or telephone, audio, or you chat, text, or email him, you're giving him permission to duplicate it, rebroadcast it on any of the Take Your Life Back Today show broadcasts. Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 HELP Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 HELP Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk about contact. Do you see me looking in the camera? If I talk like this most of the time, or read off my teleprompter, that would be eye contact. But if I talk to you like this, that is not very trustworthy when somebody speaks to you like this. The old saying that eyes are the reflection of the inner soul holds true in most cases. There are a lot of meanings to eye contact. It can be a glaring look when a person is defined or even angry. A stare when we see something unusual about a person staring obstrusively is rude. A glazed over look when we are hopelessly in love with a person. That is another way to have eye contact. It can also be a direct look when we are talking and trying to make a point. What our, eye, what our eyes mean in communication. In all instances, we use our eyes as a level of communication with the other person. We also avoid direct look from another person if we have had something to hide. The police use it as a means to detect if a person is telling the truth or not. So unless you are a very accomplished liar, in most cases you will feel uneasy when you lie. Also, sometimes a person feels uncomfortable looking at another person in the eye due to shyness. This trait is also present with other signs of shyness such as slight stammer and sometimes blushing. Otherwise, it could be used uh, in a person that's short of attention span or anything that they might have to say to you. These are all signs. Now, eye contact in events. Our, eye, uh, our eyes also reflect our sincerity, integrity, and comfort when communicating with another person. Which is why having a good eye contact while conversing is indication that the communication has gone on very well. How is eye contact related to events? Well, events are a form and means of communication. Be it sent out a message due to educate or even to introduce something. A good event management company will realize that eye contact during communication and speech are very, very important. 
Take, for instance, a presentation event where you have a, have a speaker and an audience. One of the main items of importance during the event planning will be the camera and projection screen. Another item of importance is the cameraman. One point to note is, is that if you can obtain a good event management app to manage your checklist for all these items. So, when you are communicating with your friends or family, and you're not in an event where it's a major speech, it's more of a personal level. It's always not only helpful, but recommended to have eye contact. Notice how during this video, the person looking into the camera, and that would be me, will focus on you, my audience. I am your speaker, you are my audience. I directly look to the camera. On cue, when, this, when I make a point, the camera will focus on me and my eye contact. That is important, eye contact. This is to establish a contact between me, the speaker, and you, the audience, through the screen that you're looking at. When you notice this in any presentation or any communication with your friends or family, make sure to take note of who is speaking to you and how they are speaking to you via eye contact. They all, we all, have an act to play in life, but we all should be looking at each other when we talk about anything. Eyes and the body language are very important. Eye contact is a form of body language, which is important during communication. How we present ourselves and communicate with others aside from talking is by our body language. Our body language speaks more than words, which is logically accounts for a bigger percentage of our communication. Therefore, our eyes speaks volumes about us when we communicate. These are some points to remember while communicating and why eye contact is so very important. Surprise, eye contact is a sign that you have <clears throat> that you happen to be a good listener. Now what has the eye contact got to do with listening, you might ask. When you keep eye contact with a person you are talking to, it indicates that you are focused and paying attention to them directly. Now, my eyes seem to shift a little bit here now because I'm reading off a teleprompter. But if I was speaking to you directly like I'm doing right from my heart, eye contact is very easily. But when you're reading from a teleprompter, it's a little different. It means that you are actually listening to what the person has to say. That is where the saying, don't just listen with your ears, comes from. So listen more than talk. Everyone loves a good listener, especially the opposite gender. Your eyes are very... Uh, are a way of building a connection with the other person. This could mean that you like the person. You feel comfortable talking to that person and communicating with that person. Just um, maybe even plain falling in love with that person. Either way, your eyes, the eyes, say it all. Avoiding eye contact could also mean that you do not want the person you are speaking with to know too much about you. It could be that you may not like the person. You do not want that person to know uh, you like them, or you do not feel comfortable with that person. These are all negative impacts of avoiding eye contact. Sometimes the other person might read it wrongly and therefore produce a negative feeling towards you right from the start. A big part of eye contact is building trust. A person with whom you are talking to will be more likely to trust and respect you as eye contact indicates an openness in communication. It also tells the other person, hey, I am confident and self-assured. You can trust me because I am doing uh, having eye contact with you. So if you hope to land that relationship, that friend, or that trust, be trustworthy. Practicing good eye contact is a skill for effective and vital communication and is mostly underrated and underutilized. Keeping eye contact with the person you are talking to indicates interest in saying to the person, you are important and I am listening. It is one of the unseen tools used in event or family friend communication. It's um, a solution to uh, not having eye contact is to always focus on the person you're speaking to because your eyes will automatically focus on that person. 
So start today with direct eye contact. Don't look around when you're talking because it does make the person feel uncomfortable. If you have any questions, call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise you, you and I will have eye contact together and take your life back today. And may God bless you. Exactly what we need. 